Today we're going to be talking about VESPR model, V-E-S-P-R model, which um, in chemistry is going to stand for valence shell electron pair repulsion model. And as we saw in our, in our activity, um, when you have those valence shell electrons present, they repel each other, often due to that um, opposite charge that they have, and they're going to maximize their positioning away from each other so that um, that we can get uh, shapes of molecules. And that's really the whole idea behind what's going on. So real quickly before we dive into this, I know we did call these um, things called bonding versus non-bonding domains. Um, this is what we called in our activity substituents. And so we're going to kind of change the name now and talk about domains. And it's real simple. Bonding is obviously going to be when you have um, elect or um, atoms bonded to another atom. And non-bonding domain is going to be um, usually pairs of electrons. These are unshared pairs. So bonding versus non-bonding domains. I'm going to be using that, that terminology going forward um, in using VESPER theory. So um, here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to use VESPER theory to determine shapes of molecules. First thing we want to do is we're going to want to draw our Lewis structure of any molecule. We obviously want to count our bonding and we want to count our non-bonding domains. We also saw that when we were using the word substituents, if you had a single, double, or triple bond, they still count as one bonding domain. Okay, And from that, we're going to determine what's called the electron domain geometry. We'll use this table here to determine the electron domain geometry. Okay, um, And we did this on our, on our simulation. And then we're going to go down here. We're going to use the arrangement of our bonded versus non-bonded to find our molecular geometry. So we're going to do both of these here really quickly here. Um, Let's do a couple examples. And I know these tables look a little formidable right now, but we'll come back to these and, and talk about them. So first example is ammonia that we're going to draw. So we're going to apply this to it. We're going to use, use the Lewis structure. And the Lewis structure of ammonia, um, NH3, um, nitrogen is going to have five valence electrons. Each hydrogen is going to have three valence electrons. That gives us a total of eight valence electrons to play with. Um, central nitrogen, and we're going to have a hydrogen, a hydrogen, and a hydrogen, all single bonded. And that, that uses up six of our valence electrons, and we're going to have an unshared pair of electrons right there on our central atom. Now, if we count all of our domains here, we have four domains. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll up here. And so if we have um, four domains, four total substituents there, we would have what's called a tetrahedral molecule with a 109.5 degree, degree bond angle. tetrahedral. But we really want to apply what's happening with this unshared pair of electrons here, which actually does put a little pressure on the bond angles here. So we really don't get in real life a 109 degree bond angle here because of this unshared pair of electrons. So let's go up and take a look at Oh, actually, I'm sorry. I'm going to scroll back down. Hopefully, I'm not making you dizzy. Um, let's count here our bonding versus non-bonding domains. So here we obviously have for bonding domains, we have one, two, and three. So we're going to say we have three bonding domains. And then we have one non-bonding domain there on our unshared pair of electrons. OK, so we have a, what we call a three and a one for short, or three bonding and one non-bonding domain. So we're going to go up here to our table, and we're going to look for a three and a one. And so I see it right there. Right here, we have a three and a one. OK, now because this does fall under the electron ge domain geometry, it still is a tetrahedral, but we're going to look at the molecular geometry of this guy. And the molecular geometry is a trigonal pyramidal right there, trigonal pyramidal. And we have, so we're going to call it trigonal. Oops, that's, let's try that again. That was a little sloppy. Uh-oh, having trigonal pyramidal. There we go. Having a little problems with that. So this would be our molecular geometry. And this is what we're really after in this unit is we're after these molecular geometries. Um, and you'll need to know these. Okay, let's do another example. We have H2O. So on H2O, we're going to have um, 
two for the hydrogen, and then for the oxygen, our valence electrons are going to be six, so we're going to have a total of eight. Central oxygen, uh, single bond hydrogen, single bond hydrogen, that uses up four, and then we're two, four, six, eight there, okay? And so again, if we're doing electron geometry, we're going to have um, four domains. And so I'm going to scroll up right here to my four domains. Oh, wrong, wrong one. There we go. Four domains. Again, four domains is, is a tetrahedral with 109.5 degree bond angles. Okay. But then let's do our electron geometry. Real quick before we do that, let's, let's so we have bonded. We have two bonded. And we also have one, two, non-bonded. So we're going to be a two and a two. Okay, so let's go ahead and scroll back up here and find our two and a two. Okay, there it is right there. We have our two and we have our two. And that's going to be called a bent molecule. Scrolling back down. So with 104.5 degree bond angles. Okay, so that shows um, by having, and actually let's do one more example here. And our last example for this is going to be methane. And so methane is going to have um, a central carbon with four hydrogens. Single bonds all the way around. Everybody gets an octet. And there we go. Um, and now for methane, we count our, our um, one, two, three, Four, we have four domains, and this is going to be as we go, if we scroll back up to our very first table up here, um, our electron domain, again, four domains, and we're going to be a tetrahedral. And you probably noticed that all of these have been tetrahedral so far it's because they've all had four domains. Um, and now, and when we look at our um, our molecular geometry, we're going to have four bonding and zero non-bonding. And so when we scroll up here, a four and a zero is right there. Four and a zero. That is going to be called tetrahedral as well. So we would say that the electron tetrahedral is right there. There we go. So molecular geometry, tetrahedral as is the, the electron domain. So both of them are tetrahedral. But you can see from the water example, as we add unshared pairs, um, our electron domain, our electron geometry is going to be tetrahedral, but it actually compresses the bond angle down. So tetrahedral, 109.5 degrees, um, trigonal pyramidal, 107, and then bent 104.5. Okay, that's our video on using